So as you guys probably know by now, as of tomorrow, April 8th of 2024, the Nintendo 3DS and Wii U's online services will be permanently shut down for good. It's unfortunate news, uh, even for me, because I'll, 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 be, I'll be very, very clear on this. The Wii U and 3DS are, are two systems that really helped me get through some, some really tough times, especially in my college years. I'll, I'll, go, I'll go more into that in, in a moment, but I do want to say uh, thank you, Nintendo 3DS, and thank you, Wii U, for everything that you have given us. And you, got, you guys will be remem- remembered for sure. So anyway, let me, let me go ahead and explain to you why this is so important to me. So, the Nintendo 3DS came out in 2011, and I was still in college, college at the time. I was, still, I was still struggling in college as well, and the 3DS was one of the systems that, that came out by Nintendo that really helped me get through the, the, those dark, dark times for me. It was it was a system that that would like the the moment you you turn it on, it would come it would like completely come to life in your face, and for for good reasons. Like the main the main menu for for the 3ds and the Wii U, they 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 both felt like very much alive. The 3ds always had like like back music playing whenever you go through, through the main menu, and the Wii U had had the same kind kind of thing. But with that system, though, Nintendo took it to the next level with with the the Wada Wada Plaza, which is like like the it's like the the, the big plaza, the, the the big virtual plaza where all the Mies come come together uh, for different uh, for different like Miiverse lobbies, RIP Miiverse as well. Those those two systems definitely have have had like a lot of potential at that time. Unfortunately, um, the Wii U didn't didn't really have much to to offer. It was struggling, like 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 market wise, which I I, I can still remember it being being the case. But at the same time, though, you have to understand is that these systems were like were like Nintendo's best. It it did things that no one ever thought could actually happen. You had like. The 3DS making like making games into like 3D without without the use of 3D glasses that was a big deal. I still I still remember the, all the things Reggie said about that Reggie Pizza Man. I mean, and as for the Wii U, it was basically like like a, an HD version of the of the Nintendo Wii, but compared to the original Wii, it felt more alive because you know because of all the features that it that it had had, had like Miiverse. It had everything. I remember. I remember all the the Miiverse communities. They were mostly mostly friendly at the time, and I would think that they were they were a lot more friendlier compared to what you would what you would see on Facebook and and also on Twitter, etc. But that that that's just me. I don't know about you guys, but yeah, it's like their online services are finally coming to an end. I'm not surprised they they lasted this long, but. I think I think it was for the best that they lasted this long the way they did because people still had 3DSs and Wii's at, at the time. Once I got my my Nintendo Switch back in 2017, I had to pass pass the Wii down to my sister, and and she 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 really enjoyed enjoyed what the system had too. Not to mention that it helped her get get into the the Splatoon series. So yeah. The one, the one thing I will, the one thing I really like the most about, about the the 3DS is that Street Pass. Whenever, whenever you you pass by someone who has like a 3DS, you you collect you 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 you, you visit their their me and then the Street Pass Street Pass Plaza, and it's like you, you kind of get to a little bit you kind of get to a little bit know a little bit more about them, and I think that that was a that was really nice, and. It, it, it kind of sucks that we we're not going to have that on the Switch. Well, I think well at least we wouldn't have it right now. But th- there's a good chance that it might come back on the on the Switch too, supposedly. But we'll have to see what happens. And it's really unfortunate that that the Switch's main menu 
Um, it does. It doesn't feel as lightly as 3ds and Wii U's main menus or 3ds uh, e or eShop menus did, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't change the fact though that the, that the Switch is more successful compared to the Wii U in, in numbers, and it'll, it'll be it'll be just it'll be more successful than, than the 3ds, as far as I, I can tell. But man. The online systems for these two consoles definitely had things that we uh, never really had before. But at the same time, though, you have to give credit where credit is due for these systems. These systems helped us bring us games like like Mario Kart Eight, Splatoon, and and, and the and the and the Wii U had a chance to give us like two HD Zelda remakes: the Wind Waker HD. And Twilight Princess HD, which which still need to be on the Switch. We haven't gotten those yet on the Switch. Where are they, Nintendo? Come on, I don't want to. I don't want to keep waiting for those. My, my birthday's coming up. I want to play those from, from my birthday. This is Zelda thumb for God's sakes. But yeah, it's been quite an interesting journey for these two systems. I I know I know both of them. They 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 struggled pretty hard. The 3DS had had struggled at first. My most favorite 3DS game has to be Ocarina of Time 3D. And also Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. Whereas for the Wii U, the two the two uh, Zelda remakes, and also uh, Super Smash Bros. Uh, for Wii U. And I also remember Nintendo Land, which was the Wii U's uh, launch launch game. I I know it didn't really it didn't really help the Wii U in terms of sales, but you 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 gotta admit the, the creativity that was put into to Nintendo Land was absolutely brilliant and and that is something i'm definitely going to be going to be missing out on for quite a long time but yeah i i do hope at the very least though that that the me's that we've had since 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 the wii era will continue to live on even even the next console i don't want the me's to to, to die forever because that would really suck the me's were like it, it, it's what helped Nintendo be Nintendo during during the during the, the Wii times, and to lose to lose something something as as charming as that, it, it's like it would also be like you 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 would like uh, you would hurt uh, Satoru Iwata's legacy. I mean, the Mii's were were a big were a big deal for Satoru Iwata when he was still around, and it would it would really suck if they actually did not come back and i and i hope that they would still continue to live like in the next couple of nintendo consoles for many generations to come there's no excuse to get rid of the rid of the me's okay because you know like it or not i'm i'm still i'm still i'm i'm still in love with with the me with the me concept okay i don't i don't care if it's like if it's like um like like how many years old now like 15 years old it doesn't matter. I mean, the the Mies are going to be a, a big deal for a lot of us, um, even up even until now, because it's the Mies, like it or not, like I said, they help make Nintendo be Nintendo, and that's something that has to stay forever. I don't care who says what. This is Major League Gaming logging out. Thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day.